2010 is done. So now we're going to go and look back at 2010 and see what were the best movies of 2010. Here comes the top 10 movies of 2010. Number 10, True Grit. Now, I know I complained a lot about the ending of this movie, but this movie was pretty good. It was directed very well, it had a good story, and it's one of the best movies in 2010. Plus, there's not that many great movies in 2010, but this was one of the top 10. Like I said before, the acting in this movie was really good by Jeff Bridges and the little girl in this movie. So I think that the acting was pretty good as well. So this movie is in the top 10 because of the acting and the directing. <music> Crazies is crazy. Remember that? Well, this is the movie that is number 9 on my list because I felt like this was a good horror movie. It was also never boring. It was always interesting. You never got bored. It was good from beginning to end. The only thing I have is I didn't like some things that happened in the movie, but everything else was pretty good. It was directed great. The acting was pretty good for a horror movie. So yeah, it was good. Number eight is a shocker because at first this movie I didn't like it, but then I gave it some thought. So this movie is The Town. It is directed by Ben Affleck. A lot of people said Ham did a great job in this movie, and I think he really did. And I left him out in the movie review, so I want to give him credit now. He was pretty good in this movie. Jeremy Rayner, I think, still is the best because he's just crazy in this movie, and I love characters like that. Ben Affleck was okay, but he was kind of boring. But, yeah. Blake Lively was another person I forgot because her role wasn't that big, but for the role that she did... She did an amazing job as a hooker. So now Black Swan at number 7 on my list. And this has to be even more shocking than the town because it's about ballet. Now, I hate ballet because I don't find it interesting at all. I'm a guy. It's something I just don't like. And this movie came out of left field, surprisingly, and was really good. It was directed really well. It was also a check on Mr. High movie which I love those movies. I've, I study those movies. Those are great movies. So, like, it did a pretty good job of that. And also, Myla Kunis did a good job. And Natalie Portman, best actress, Oscar. She should just get it right now. She should be Michelle. Number six is Kick Ass. And it kicked ass. I love this movie. It's the only superhero movie on this list. Plus, there's, like, no superhero movie that came out in 2010. But it was a pretty good one. And what I love about it is that it's a superhero movie where the superhero gets his ass kicked. Like, he gets his ass beaten in this movie so bad in so many parts. And actually, he's not even, like, that great of the superhero. I like Hit Girl more because I believe that she's a little girl, but she beats the shit out of people in this movie. So Matthew Vaughn directed another great movie called Layer Cake, and he directed Kick-Ass. He does a lot of, like, gangster movies. And Kick-Ass was a superhero movie, but there was gangsters in it. And that's what makes it interesting. You don't see that that often. So this movie was really good. I liked it a lot. So that's why it deserves a spot on my top 10. Unlike Iron Man 2, it had a lot of action. And it was very interesting to watch. And Hit Girl, she, the girl that played her, she's a good actress for that movie. I don't know if she's a good actress for any other movie because she hasn't been in that many. But this movie... She was awesome. At number five, Shutter Island. My very first review, my very first YouTube video, and this movie is really great. I, it's one of the best of 2010, definitely. Of Martin Scorsese directed this movie, and he did a great job with this. And it's not something he normally directs either. He usually directs gangster films, and this movie is like a thriller or horror movie which I really liked and it was very confusing but at the end you kinda got it if you watched it twice. Now DiCaprio in this movie was amazing. I mean he plays this type of role a lot in movies but he really got it down in this one. I really thought something was wrong with him. I'm not gonna spoil this movie but if you saw the ending you know this movie was confusing but it was really good. I really liked it. It was, I think some people said it was open-ended, but I don't know. I kind of believe now that there was one ending, but you have to really pay attention. At number.
number four, Hot Tub Time Machine. This movie was hilarious. The funniest movie of 2010. It was better than The Hangover 2, I think, that came out in 2009. But I mean, this movie was funnier, I believe, because the concept was really stupid, like, and some rules were, like, broken for time machines and stuff, but I mean, everything else was pretty good about this movie. The two funniest guys in this movie were Rob Cottery, I think that's how you say his name. He was also on Harold and Kumar, Escape from Guantanamo Bay. He was pretty funny in that movie. And he was really funny in this movie. And Craig Robinson is hilarious. I think he should be in more movies because he's one funny guy. Like I said, there were a lot of plot holes, but it's a comedy, so I didn't take it seriously. So that's why this movie is in my top 10. <laughs> Social Network comes at number three with no shock because this movie was acted very well by Jesse Eisenberg. Oh my god, so great. Like, it, he might be nominated for an Oscar for the actor spot, which is great because he did a great job in this movie. Also, the director, David Fincher, did a good job. I mean, at first I said he did an okay job, but I think he actually did a pretty good job. It's just kind of confusing at points. This movie was my longest review, and the reason was because I had to talk about my own personal use with Facebook. And the reason I did that because I wanted people to know what I actually think about Facebook instead of making like a Facebook rant because I don't have to rant on it. I mean, I think it's okay. It's not the worst thing. Jesse Eisenberg, like I said, was really great in this movie and he was so sarcastic and I just love what an asshole he was. You just love to hate him. The Social Network was also well written and it's definitely the movie of this decade because I mean, since 2004, people have been using Facebook, and Facebook has made probably the most money out of any site. Actually, it is the number one most visited site, so that's why this movie was really good. At number two comes the fighter. Now, some people could argue this could be number one. That's how great it was. Now, Christian Bale's role in this movie was the best. He was not a main character, so he can't win for main character. He's going to win for Best Supporting Actor. And that is the Oscar he should get. Just like Natalie Portman should get for, you know, Black Swan. He should just get it mailed to him. And he doesn't have to show up because that's how great he was. Like, I can't think of anybody who could even contend against him in this movie. He takes his job really seriously. I mean, for the machinist, he lost so much weight. And that's unhealthy to do. And he does it all the time. I mean, you know the movie is great when there's people in the theater clapping and rooting for a boxing match that you know what can kind of happen because this is based on a true story. And a lot of people are like, well, the story wasn't how it went. Well, I don't care because this movie was freaking entertaining and that's all that it needed to be. If I'd like to see these two in a movie again because this movie was really good. And I think if you put Christian Bale, you just give him some good lines and stuff and put him in a good movie like Leonardo DiCaprio always gets, then he will deliver because that's what he does. Like American Psycho, Shaft, and those movies that he's done, Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, he really shines in those movies. Now, Mark Wahlberg plays the main character, but he's not even in the movie as much as Christian Bale. And whatever Mark Wahlberg does is affected by Bale's character. So that's how you know Christian Bale was so good. I like Bale a lot when he plays Psychos. I mean, I, he can play other stuff too. But when he plays a psycho, it's just the best. Like American Psycho, and he, when he was the racist in Shaft, those to me are like his best role. At number one, with no shock, no surprise, is Toy Story 3. Just kidding, just kidding. I didn't see Toy Story 3. I'm pretty sure it was a good movie. But Inception is the movie that I'm talking about. Now... Inception is the best movie of 2010 because there was a lot of a lot of confusion in the movie a lot it was well written it was definitely directed really well like the anti-gravity scene where they're fighting it's awesome I love that part Leonardo's acting was great in this movie now I'm not gonna take anything away from him but what I will say is that there didn't need to be that much of a great acting but hey if you have Leonardo DiCaprio for a movie then that movie is usually really good and he did a really good job in this movie. These are the Oscars that this movie deserves. Best movie, best directed movie by Christopher Nolan, and best actor by Leonardo DiCaprio. If he wins for Shutter Island, I'll be fine with that because, you know, I believe his acting was more important in Shutter Island than this movie. 
but I think he acted well in both movies. And if he's nominated in both, I'm fine with that too. I just think Leonardo DiCaprio has got to win, man. I mean, he doesn't win because he's kind of young compared to the other guys who do win. So now, it's his time. This movie is so good that people talk about it all the time. They always talk about the ending. They always say, was he dreaming or was it real? I know I just kind of spoiled it for you there, but I mean, you have to have watched this movie by now. Come on, this movie is the freaking best of 2010. Everybody was great in this movie. Every single person. Leonardo DiCaprio was great. Tom Hardy was great. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I think he's the best in this movie. And Ellen Page did a great job. And I don't really like her because she did Juno and that was just okay to me. I didn't find it that great. But her acting in this movie was pretty good. Also, the wife of Leonardo DiCaprio, I don't remember her name, but she was pretty good. This movie, I just, I can't believe it. It's so great. It's like, I knew once I saw this movie, this is number one. And I tried to give the fighter the edge over this movie, but I really couldn't because this movie was better in terms of plot. And that's what matters the most to me. Not freaking special effects like Avatar. So, that's it. I'm gonna wrap up 2010 with that to say Inception is the best and let's see what comes out in 2011 and I'm gonna review a movie this Friday or Saturday by one of those days and it's just a lot more is coming so please subscribe